Welcome to Investigating the Universe, where we explore the mysteries of science in a way that's easy to understand. Today, we're peeling back the layers of the cosmos and stepping into the quantum realm, a world where the rules of physics as we know them change, and where Google's recent breakthrough has made waves. This realm is where quantum computing and artificial wormholes converge, promising to change our understanding of the universe. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics and wormholes. Buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride. So, what is quantum computing? It's a new kind of computing technology that uses the principles of quantum mechanics, a field of physics that describes the bizarre and often paradoxical behavior of tiny particles at the atomic and subatomic level. You see, classical computers like the one you're using to watch this video process information in binary units called bits. These bits can be either a zero or a one. They're like little switches that can be turned on or off, but in the quantum world, things aren't so binary. This is where quantum bits or qubits come into play. Qubits, unlike classical bits, can exist in multiple states at once thanks to a quantum phenomenon known as superposition. Imagine a spinning coin. It's not just heads or tails, but a blend of both until it lands. That's a bit like how a qubit can be both a zero and a one at the same time. This means that a quantum computer can process a vast number of calculations simultaneously, making it exponentially more powerful than a classical computer. But there's more. There's another quantum quirk called entanglement. When qubits become entangled, the state of one qubit becomes linked to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. If you change the state of one, the other changes instantly. This could theoretically allow for instantaneous communication and the solving of complex problems in record time. So you might ask, what are the potential applications of quantum computing? Well, the possibilities are almost as vast as the universe itself. Quantum computing could revolutionize fields like cryptography, making our online information more secure. It could also lead to breakthroughs in material science, helping us to design new kinds of materials at the atomic level. In medicine, quantum computers could simulate the human body at the molecular level, leading to new drugs and treatments. In the financial sector, they could optimize trading strategies, manage risk, and price complex financial products. And let's not forget about artificial intelligence. Quantum computing could radically accelerate machine learning, leading to AI systems that can learn and adapt at an unprecedented rate. But before we get too carried away, it's important to remember that quantum computing is still in its infancy. There are immense technical challenges to overcome, not least of which is the problem of maintaining quantum coherence or keeping qubits in their delicate quantum state. Despite these challenges, progress is being made. Companies like Google are leading the way with their quantum computer, Sycamore, demonstrating quantum supremacy by performing a calculation in just over three minutes that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer thousands of years. Quantum computing is not just a theory anymore, it's becoming a reality. Google's quantum computer is a testament to that. The quantum age is dawning and it promises to revolutionize our world in ways we can scarcely imagine. Google, a tech giant, has made a groundbreaking discovery with its quantum computer. This isn't just another tech update, folks. This is a leap into uncharted territory. A quantum leap, if you will. Google's quantum computer, the Sycamore, has achieved something that was once limited to the realm of science fiction, the creation of an artificial wormhole. To understand this achievement, we need to delve into the fascinating world of quantum computing. Unlike classical computers, which use bits as their smallest units of data, quantum computers utilize quantum bits or qubits. These qubits can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon known as superposition. This allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of information simultaneously, solving complex problems that would take classical computers millennia to crack. So, how did Google's Sycamore create an artificial wormhole? The answer lies in a concept called quantum entanglement. This is the ability of particles to become interconnected in such a way that the state of one particle is instantly connected to the state of another, no matter the distance between them. It's a principle that even Albert Einstein referred to as spooky action at a distance. 
In Google's experiment, they managed to entangle the qubits in such a way that they simulated the conditions of a wormhole. This isn't a physical wormhole, mind you, that you can pass through. Instead, it's a wormhole in the computational sense, where information can be transmitted instantly from one qubit to another, regardless of their physical distance apart. This is a monumental breakthrough. It's the kind of achievement that has the potential to revolutionize not just computing, but our understanding of the universe itself. The implications are vast from advancements in cryptography and optimization algorithms to potentially unlocking the mysteries of black holes and the fabric of space-time itself. This breakthrough has opened up new possibilities in the field of quantum physics, and it's just the beginning. Google's quantum breakthrough has given us a glimpse into the future, and it's a future where the seemingly impossible becomes possible. Now let's talk about artificial wormholes. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's real. Imagine a tunnel, a shortcut, if you will, stretching from one point in the universe to another. This is the essence of a wormhole, a theoretical passage through space-time that could potentially allow for travel across vast distances in an instant. Now take that concept and imagine creating one artificially. That's right, an artificial wormhole. Artificial wormholes, just like natural ones, are based on the principles of general relativity, a theory that describes gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. The idea is to harness this principle to create a tunnel in the fabric of reality itself. How do we do that, you ask? This is where quantum computing comes in. So, there we have it. Quantum computing and artificial wormholes, two mind-bending concepts that could change our world. We've journeyed through the nebulous realms of quantum mechanics, taking a deep dive into Google's groundbreaking quantum breakthrough. Their successful creation of an artificial wormhole is nothing short of a scientific marvel, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and technological advancement. Let's quickly revisit the key points of our cosmic journey today. We started by understanding the fundamentals of quantum computing, a concept that challenges our traditional understanding of computation. Google's quantum breakthrough then served as our launching pad into a new era of computing power, a realm where problems once considered unsolvable now stand within our reach. Next, we ventured into the fascinating world of artificial wormholes. These constructs, once merely the stuff of science fiction, have been brought to life by Google's quantum computer. The potential implications of this development are vast, from revolutionizing data transmission to possibly even unlocking the secrets of faster-than-light travel. In the grand scheme of things, these discoveries are but the first steps on an exciting journey. They mark the beginning of a new chapter in our understanding of the universe, one where the impossible becomes possible, and the boundaries of our knowledge are continually pushed. If you want to keep exploring the universe with us, please subscribe to Investigating the Universe. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time, keep investigating.